My boyfriend wears your bankrupt hoodie to all family events because he gets compliments. I mean, thank you. That's dope. Once you've gotten it once, you can't. I feel like running it back is crazy. It's like if you're talking about family events, which means you're going to the same people. So it's like, hey, hey, grandma, notice anything about what I'm wearing? <laughs> and she's like, yes, I like the bankrupt hoodie. I said it already. <laughs> I do agree. A single compliment can change the trajectory of a man's life. I do think men are compliment starved, bro. Sometimes you're a dude, someone says nice hat or something, and you now it's your personality. <laughs> now it's like you've locked that in. That is psh, neurons all fired, alert, fucking everything's going change 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 this is great uh, this is me now yeah a hundred percent i'll be honest with you i think i used to always shave every single day i used to be a really into shaving i used to be a guy that liked the idea of shaving i used to have um not the you know gillette but like the fucking safety razor with the badger hair brush you know the real fucking razor i used to be super into it and then i think this is probably off recollection but i recall ari telling me she liked when i had a beard she's like your beard looks good and then <laughs> i probably have shaved so i probably shaved eight percent of what i used to shave in the past 10 years because of that like i still shave i usually let it grow i do a cycle now instead of like and that's how it works bro that's just how it works. that's how a fucking a compliment can shift you a girl said she like my banana hat six years ago it's my most prized possession because of it i love it like a son <laughs> you love it like a son it is a banana hat okay to be clear so if you ever have a son you're gonna tell him son i love you i love you almost actually almost exactly as much as i love my banana hat <laughs> <laughs> it's tied. It's a tie. It's a tie game, son. I think that would be underwhelming as the sun. Dad, why am I called Banana Hat? <laughs> if I have a son, I'll buy him his own Banana Hat. <laughs> oh, you've thought about this. No, this is already something you've had an answer ready for. All right. Well, far be it from me to throw you off your path, my friend. Some random girl told me she liked my curly hair in 2019 and my hair is unchanged since. That do be how it goes. But also, it can happen the other way. It can happen where you're wearing something that you haven't really thought about that much or even that you like, and then someone hits you with the right dig on it and <laughs> you never wear it again. I feel like I'm trying to think of an example where this happened to me. This has happened to me 100% when I was younger. I'm just trying to, it's, it's been a while now. I'm trying to think of something. Oh, you're wearing that again? <laughs> I was wearing brown pants with a nice green jacket and some girl called me a tree. <laughs> Damn, she roasted you. She fucking, she dogged you. Yeah, you got on. I don't know, there's no getting around it, bro. Little tree boy. That's, I mean, you got cooked. Now, I'm sure from every day since, you check your outfit to make sure it doesn't match a tree. Uh, nothing really wrong with that, by the way. What's wrong with trees? People like them. They make oxygen. One time a girl <laughs> made fun of me for wearing gray shorts and a gray jacket, and I think about it every day. <laughs> This could be true for women as well, actually. But I want women to know if they don't know that this is real. This is real on, on the men's side where small statements do have a very long lasting core memory impact. Though I, I actually do think this is true for women as well because I don't know about the compliment so much. I do think there's a different dynamic there. But I do know that I once told Ari that I didn't like some, not that I didn't like something. I was like, oh, I like that more. Something small. I was like, oh, I don't like that shirt. I like that one more about hers. And she, she told me later that she, she thought about it for a very long time and never wore that like ever <laughs> she told me that like it was that was a real i think what it is, is i'd never care and so the fact that i even said anything made it seem like it was but i think i was just making conversation i don't i didn't it's something i remembered so anyway i just i think it's true for humans i think human beings we we lodge certain things in our brain and it sticks uh, this is also true for everybody's got like a story like if you talk to your parents and you're remembering things, you're gonna remember so many things they did that like really impacted you that they don't remember at all. This is true of like all parents. You will talk about like, I remember like when I was 13 and you did this one thing and like it really, and they're like, what? I don't know. <laughs> they don't even remember it because for them it was like nothing, but you for whatever reason locked that memory in and it changed something about you. Like it became core. So that's just how we work, dude. We're crazy people. A guy I didn't know that well told me I look good without glasses. When I took them off, I haven't worn them since. You've been just stumbling into doors for 20, <laughs> for fucking eight years. You've just been bumping around. Just, uh, I'm hot though. I'm fucking mogging everyone. I think glasses, I, I fuck with glasses. I kind of wish that my eyes weren't perfect. You know, but what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I wish my eyes weren't fucking 
2020 perfect crystal blue, okay? And then I would love to wear glasses. You know you can wear non-prescription glasses? I know I can. I kind of do sometimes. I mean, I wear the, the blue light ones, but I don't like in public, I don't walk around wearing glasses. But maybe I will one day. So you're romanticizing a disability. Yeah, you should make a twit longer. <laughs> I think I've really, I've, I've caused the problem here today. I used to shine laser pointers in my eyes as a kid, and now one lens in my glasses is thicker than the other. <laughs> you're stupid, you're a dumb kid. That's, cr that's crazy, that's so obviously bad, even as a child. You know what I'm saying? Your danger neurons were not firing. But it sounds like if you keep it up, eventually you might gain Cyclops powers, where one of your glasses is so thicker and sharp that you could like shoot a beam out of it and thus become a hero. I made a funny chat message and a guy replied with Drake. I will think about that for the rest of my life. That's that's almost too far. You have to understand that the Drakes, the Drakes are often, in my experience, not authentic. They don't seem to come from a place of authenticity. I made a comment exposing a deep insecurity and someone responded with awkward. <laughs> you know what? Try fucking, try fucking. <laughs> Get over it, you know? Try being a streamer, dude, and you say anything real at all, and then maybe one person responds with like, oh, that, you know, wow, that's, I never thought of it like that. And then two people are like, you just said a word wrong or something, or you said like, I don't know, or you had fuzz in your beard whenever <laughs> you said it, and they go, yeah, nice point, but uh, your fuzz beard. Uh, and they fucking, you understand? Know it's like not, they will seize upon anything, right? And if they don't, if they don't have anything, they'll make it up. I don't even drink coffee. When was the last time you tried to be real with us? It's usually glizzy this or China that with you. You think that's my content? Glizzy this or China that? I think I have been real many occasions. And I think I have many more topics than glizzy this or China that. I don't, I think that's a, a gross oversimplification of what I bring to the table as a content creator. But go to pizza toppings. I love this question. Sorry, can I just say Robert Robertson? I love this question. Do you know why? Cause this is what Fun Day Friday is all about. Simple, fun, non-controversial questions that we can all enjoy without fucking debate lords in my DMs. <laughs> Robert Robertson, let me tell you what my favorite pizza toppings are. I'm actually a pretty simple man when it comes to pizza toppings. I like pepperoni, okay? I do, I like pepperoni. Tomato, cheese, pepperoni. Do I ever get crazy with it? Sure, I'll try other things. I like a good a supreme pizza where it has a lot of extra stuff on it. But the, like the base meat for me would be pepperoni. Jalapenos I can do on a pep on a on a on a pizza. I, you know I can try a lot of different pizzas. I don't really have a problem. But for me a classic single pep. Oh, you like pepperoni, so you hate nuclear power plants. <laughs> Pepperoni low key sucks. I don't even, I'm not even gonna debate you. You know what? It's a food topping, so you can enjoy non pepperoni pizza if you'd like to. Have you ever had pepperoni under the cheese? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Like, let me tell you, let me see if I can find a, my favorite pizza. This is my favorite pizza that I think, they don't take good photos. <laughs> they don't take good photos, bro. This is the pizza that I used to get in SF when I was. 21 years old working at Twitch and I would go down after work late at night and I'd get this pizza. And it was called Village Pizzeria Van Ness. You didn't even see it yet. This is it, okay? And it is just like very fucking tasty and they put pepperoni all over it. And this is not a great photo, but it is very fucking tasty. I want you to know, like it's very, 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 very fucking tasty. Like it, not bad. It's not mold, obviously it's just cheese. <laughs> There's obviously not mold on the pepperoni. It's very obviously cheese. But it's a very good slice of pizza is all I will say. And I really probably enjoyed it more than anything else. And so I've always been trying to recapture that high. That's like the best, just simple, pure slice of pizza that I've had.